Hello everyone and welcome back to another Come Hangout live session. Today we're piloting the Aaron Jaeger Jaeger Field deck through ladder. Let's see how far we can go. We're currently in silver. Alright, we're queuing up against Bellin. Let's get it. He's in bronze. He's making a good run currently. Am I going to be the thing that stops him? Let's find out. Alright, so we start off with our Windswift Health. We're going to go ahead and crack that. Go get a nice basic snow coverage for us, but... You know, we're going to preserve our life total because I don't really know what he is. We're going to go ahead and make that a red because we have Boo Ting in our hand. He shows us a blue, white, green tri land. So we're going to hold up our nice Orcus bow off of our uh, Stomped. I'm going to crack it. Our Wooded Foothills. Forgive me. <laughs> we're going to go get an Overgrown Tomb. We'll take the two because we see that he has a castle. We're going to try to shoot him in the face with the Orcus and punish him if he wants to draw extra cards. Forces him to growth spiral now. He temples. Very nice. I wonder, is this another wilderness reclamation deck? Ooh, and then we just slam natural order. So good. Go get big Aaron Jaeger. As you saw, we added Crater Hoof to the list because you know what? Cart Titan's kind of sick. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we go ahead and get a forest and a field of the dead. So hopefully our next um, land is, you know, a lower chance of it being a replica and it isn't so we go ahead and get our nice radiant gain two life field is now active so that's always lovely Ooh, mute your opponent always remember that and then he bounced our prime time which i don't think is a very good play for him orcish bowmaster goes ahead and just tips him again and then we just jam our prime time again it's like i don't i don't think that was a very good play on his part bouncing our prime time like that i think he could have done something else i think he could have not bounces the prime time but let's see we go ahead and clock in for work make seven two twos pass turn seven two twos is hard to deal with it certainly is yeah yeah that's him clocking out very fair very fair we go ahead and take our first win the silver tier four list um man what a lovely time what a lovely time i think honestly i don't think the lower like ranks are that hard to pilot our way through silver is not too bad bronze isn't too bad uh, gold isn't too bad. I think it becomes more of a grind once we get to, like, it's not emerald. I forget what they actually call the green one. But once we get to that one, it starts becoming a very big grind, in my opinion. But that's just me. I also think platinum's a grind. Once again, that's just me. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm bad. <laughs> so here we go. We're waiting for our opponent to pop on in. So what do you guys think of the new set so far? I don't think I played enough of it to really form an opinion, but based on what I have played, I think that I really enjoy, ooh, this is a great hand. I think this is a very powerful hand. We got the Arboreal Grazer, and go ahead and mass out. We just need one more force for that natural order to all come into play. But we kind of drew it off of the Kami, so let's see what happens here. He is a Jenga deck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going up against Zoo Tribal? Are we, are we going up against our nemesis? <laughs> our antithesis? Ooh, we certainly are going up against Zoo Tribal. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the run back. So we play our rain. We play our Spelunking. We play the field immediately because we learned our lesson from the last one. Play the field as soon as possible. We went active. Okay. Perhaps this was wrong. As you see, we moved this over. Perhaps we should have kept Orcish Bowmaster up, but I think just ramping is going to be worth more. He's going to Ley Line Binding. He's going to take our Splunking. Very good. A little too late, but we also draw another Splunking, so it's like, does it really matter? We contemplate sacking out Kami, but because we have a basic forest, I don't want to do that. If we had a snow-covered forest, I could see a bigger play for it. We play this other Splunking and then just draw an Aaron Jaeger naturally, so pretty powerful. We still do need another green source, though. <laughs> We're going to need to do something about that green source. He fires off a Lightning Bolt. Man, Lightning Bolt is such a great card. And the fact that it's the first spell cast in Magic canonically, that's the coolest part, I think, about that. And then the second spell cast is Counterspell. <laughs> that's such a wizard thing to do. Some dude somewhere was just like, bro, look at what I can do. And he just Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. And some other dude was like, I don't know, you can't do that. Counterspell. <laughs> 
Oh, that's such a flavor win. He tribal flamed me. He's just beating the crap out of us. We're searching for another land. And we got it right there in our overgrown tomb. We found our other green source. We're going to have it come into play. We're contemplating the Kami. We play the Kami because we need to preserve our life total. We're at nine here. And he's definitely trying to clock in. <laughs> he's playing around the Orcish Bowmaster instead of drawing a card. We're going to block his 5-5, five, five, take three. We're at six. So he can kill us right here. He draws a Wild Nikau and plays the Wild Nikau. He can definitely kill us right here. Two lightning bolts to the dome and it's game. Ooh, he Ley Line Bindings, the Splunking. We draw a Stomping Ground. We choose to not activate. We slam Aaron Yeager. That's right, boys. We're clocking in. Who can't beat the Zoo deck, bro? Clock into work. Look at all the boys we just made. And that's it. That's it. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Redemption. <laughs> Redemption at the back of the Zoo deck. <laughs> Yeah, playing the field is so important. Playing the field as soon as possible is so important against the Zoo deck because it's just like they're gonna run us. They're gonna run us over. They're gonna run us over. We're a little dune buggy, and they're this like thirty wheeler, this quad million wheeler, just tumbling down in us. Okay, so here we go. We're going up against the Luris deck here. Pretty decent hand. We can lead off with our Bloodstain Mire. Mute your opponent. <laughs> we can lead off with our Bloodstained Mire, and once upon a time at the end of his turn, he has no idea what we are until then, which I like that. Keep his little information. He's red. Oh, okay. Mono Red Loris is always a good fun time, so we're just going to get the big bodies out. We're going to start unrolling our O3s on him because our O3s are big blockers. They're just going to start getting in his way. So I'm going to take two off this. Very nice. He's punching me. Ow. Okay, he's bobbling. He's bobbling. Very good bobble. He's bobble, baby. Bobble, baby. <laughs> That's such an old song. That's such an old song. <laughs> uh, if you know that song, you're invited to the barbecue, bro. Grazer comes down. We're going to get our stomping ground down. Big Grazer energy. Gain two life because it's super relevant against the red deck. The more life we can gain against the red deck, the harder it is for them to beat us. And that's what we want. We want to make it as complicated as possible for the red deck. So, you know, just keep adding two. Ooh, he flooded the board because he knew beating into the O3 is not going to work. We play our Splunking because we just want to we want to churn out value. We're looking for our field. We're looking for uh, natural order. We're looking for more mana. Put down a bigger body. We pass turn. He's got a Ragava, a 1-1, one, one, and a 1-2. Now, that 1-1 one, one is a sick card. That is such a great one drop. Like, Jesus Christ. Cool. He's got to get rid of our O3. Every point of damage that's not flung in our face is another point of damage we has gained. We has gained. We have gained. <laughs> so we draw our Fierce Empath. That's not going to help us right now. We're debating Splunking or Once Upon a Timing. Yeah, we're going to Once Upon a Time. That's a very solid play. We're going to go ahead and get the field. Mm, big blessings. Play field. Jam Splunking. So, oh, get close to activating field. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so this is why that drag that dragon's rage channel uh ch words that dragon rage channeler he's so sick she's so sick she's so sick she scries one she becomes a three three once you have um I believe it's delirium oh here here we go she's stacking up and so is the monastery swift spear Ow, ragava gets himself some bananas just takes off a sunken citadel that's not too bad because we untap. And we're going to do some mean things. We're going to play an Aaron Jaeger. I'm going to play an Aaron Jaeger onto the board. Oh, I like this. He's digging for a land because he just wants to... He, we're at nine. He wants to kill us. He's found a land and an extra point of damage. Let's see what he does with that. Ooh, he goes deeper in his deck. It's Surveil. He puts a Searing Blood. Okay. We jam Mr. Primetime. Mr. Jaeger himself. Go get a field... We're debating blockers. We're going to go get a fetch land out of the way. Because we're at 9. I don't want to draw any fetch lands. <clears throat> Definitely don't want to draw any fetch lands. See, look how good that tra that Rage Channeler is. It's a 3-3 three, three flyer now. So sick. Such a sick card. So he's going to come in and beat some face. Good beating. Good beating. Ooh, lightning bolt. Is he going to do it to us right now? Because currently, he's showing one point of damage with two cards. Ooh, and there's the other lightning bolt. We dropped the good game, and there it is. Straight 
red <laughs> red is so good especially in the lower tier because like the lower <laughs> don't ask me that question <laughs> don't ask me that question wizard did you have fun did you enjoy that ass whooping i mean that really wasn't an ass whooping that was a very fair back and forth we tried to stabilize there mm, what could we have done a little differently perhaps gotten a kalala -la 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 garden i think that would have helped out greatly Anyways, that's how that cookie folds. We managed to get two wins on this. That's pretty good. Two out of three ain't bad. Thank you for joining us on Come Hang Out. Have a great day.